So this is the fortune teller. Notice the, for the fortune teller has a mole on her face. Well, if you press the mole, you'll find out your fortune. Okay. All right, go give it a try. Wait, I know how it works. Wait. What did you say? You're, you are so beautiful. Have a nice day. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing that? Yes. I was a dolphin in a previous life. That's so <laughs> weird. <laughs> Welcome to The Life, an E! News media presentation. I'm Andy Cohen. And I'm Paul Romano. We hope you enjoyed this glimpse into the life of Brooklyn Friends School. Welcome to Metro Tech, the tech epicenter of Brooklyn. Here we have the NYU Tandon School of Engineering, National Grid, and of course, BFS. Hey, but look Paul. who it is! Juan, great to it's see so you. It's so nice to see you. What are you doing here? Well, I'm just talking about tech in this great epicenter of technology. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm going to school here. I go to school at NYU's Tandon School of Engineering in this great epicenter of technology. You go to NYU School, NYU <laughs> School of Engineering I right do. here in this great epicenter of technology? As a matter of fact, I do go to school here at the NYU Tandon School of Engineering in this great epicenter of technology. We're doing an episode of The Life. Oh, really? You know, when we talk about what's going on at BFS. Oh, what's going on with technology at BFS? I've created a program that asks the user to input two numbers and then also give the answers for different mathematical um, calculations made with them. And each um, calculation and answer corresponds to a different button. And so if that answer for that specific thing was correct, the light will light up, otherwise it will stay off. Sounds cool, Jackson. Sounds really cool. Thank you. You having fun doing it? Very much. Kaylee, what are you up to? What are you doing? I am making a calculator. Okay, that's what this big green thing is for? Yeah, we made our own monitors. You made your own monitors? Yes. And we made our own monitors and now we perform labs using breadboards and circuits. We put our own circuits together and code them to do different things. So we've done like labs where we make the lights light up to do different colors or like you know some like flash on and off and now we're working on more advanced things like computing and so just doing them where her thing's gonna talk maybe. Computer it looks talks. like fun. You know what all this stuff is? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something. This is a breadboard. I would never breadboard, you said? Yes. Mm -hmm. So they're connected. The rows are connected horizontally. And since there's like on the inside of it, there's like circuits. So when you plug the wires in, it will create a closed circuit in which you can make stuff happen. I just finished manipulating this light by using um, some Python. That's a coding um, language? Yeah, Python's a coding language. Last year we learned like JavaScript and CSS and HTML. Oh, cool. But this year, um, Python is more of like the mainstream code that people use. Like it's a lot of machine learning. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And I um, got it to light up three different colors in a row and like pause for a little bit, which was pretty cool. What is the main goal of this project, though? It's like a series of like steps that lead you to one main goal, which was this one to light it up for like an user input. If like someone wanted it to light up, so it's it's a lot more um, modern. For me, it, it's definitely more complex, and you can do a lot more things with it. Okay, thank you, Logan Meister, Jim. You're welcome, Good luck. Hey, man. Thank you. Can you tell me what you're doing oh, right I'm now? I'm about to start a new lab and I just finished one with buttons. It was a calculator. So we use different math operators. And what do you know what this one what you're making now? This is a talking computer. What is it gonna say? I don't know yet. <laughs> you can make it say whatever you want. I guess so, yeah. Okay. And through the language of code, you'll make it speak? 
Yeah. Cool stage, have you been having a good time doing this? Yeah, it's really fun. First, you need an idea and a design. And then you would use like some kind of website to take that idea and turn it into like a 3D design. And then you have to make sure there aren't any loopholes and it's better if it's hollow so it doesn't take as much time. And then you can upload it to the 3D printer. The uh, material from the back is in, goes through this wire and into the nozzle and then basically takes the design and then 3D prints it on the board. Uh, so it's going to just keep layering. That's about done. So then move the no, it's not. So the plastic back here, yep. there's, there's a tube that, there's a little tube right here that, that the plastic will like go down from that, from this, from this black thing. It's gonna make that, yeah. Well, you don't want. Well, it's gonna be in the shape of the top. Yeah. So this 3D printer is melting the, the plastic thingies, and then it's going, so the melted plastic will go over what the 3D printer is printing and make it thicker. Yes, oh, they will bend. Do you mean that oh, it looks like a dog too? Whoa. Whoa. How did someone make that? Ah. about what that is in there. Can you explain to me? Yeah. Yeah. So what it is, is you record the sounds first, and then he, and then Ethai used copper tape to connect it to wires. And if you do like one word, then it just goes from higher to lower. And it's supposed to be a keyboard. Because all the wires connect to one like motherboard that's connected to Eli's computer. So then it's like if you push the copper tape, it'll go up the wires and it's connected to the computer so it'll like send something to the computer and then it'll play that sound. I like this, but I also like Scratch. Yeah, it's like programming, it's really fun. Programming? Yeah. What kind of things do you think you might program? I eat, I have this crazy idea. We've been idea doing for this board. a robot. A robot? If you made a robot, what would you want it to do? I would um, want it I to, want it to do all my chores. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, totally. And my homework. What would the name be of your robots? Um, mine would be. I don't know. That's hard. Do you think it you would depends. Have to, do you think you would Maybe I'll name it after my brother. <laughs> Thank you to our cutting edge tech teachers, Tracy, Itai, and Jean. Aside from our theme music, all the music in today's video was created by our students. Check in the description of this video for the Bandcamp link, where you can listen to all of their musical creations. And remember to let your tech speak. <laughs>